Hi, I'm Kevin, and welcome to Making Sawdust, the channel all about using what you got and not what you ain't. If you're a DIYer and you don't own all the fancy tools, you came to the right place. So click the subscribe button, stick around, give me a like at the end of this video, and let's get started. Welcome back guys. This is the first look at my most recent Facebook Marketplace score. This is a Sears 10 inch direct drive bandsaw. Uh, circa 1986 I believe. What we are going to do today is give it a overall inspection. Maybe a little tune up and set, assess what may be the problems with it and uh, we are going to put this into service I picked up this bandsaw for $40 on Facebook marketplace when I first noticed obviously just a lot of a lot of dust and dirt and stuff uh, upper guide moves freely I'm going to disassemble it and make sure everything works. It does have a tilting table on it so you can cut it angles. It has approximately a three inch throat right here uh, cutting a lot of three quarter inch pine for decorations is going to be perfect. I do have another saw that I will be using for a resaw for larger lumber and you guys are going to have to stay tuned for that project let's uh, make sure that uh, blade is free and all that it is off we will plug it in we will uh, see if she runs Seems to roll pretty freely. Uh, the blade doesn't wobble back and forth at all. I am going to now unplug it. We're going to take the front cover off, inspect the bearings, the wheels, and all that stuff. I've never had one of these apart. I wasn't in the market for a new saw. This one happened to come across Facebook. So I bought it. some dust in there it's probably just sawdust relatively clean it really doesn't appear like it's been used very much Belt seems in relatively good condition. That well, seems to roll really nicely. That one seems to roll real nice too. What I will probably do, because this belt has a pretty good memory to it, I will put 
probably order another one for a backup. These are, I believe, a quarter inch blade. This is a fine blade. Actually, it looks like it's in really nice condition. Sure, I can find those on Amazon somewhere. And this is, I believe, another one. Let's put one of these older blades on and test it out. Actually, they're all inside out. There we go. A little kink in that guy. The, uh, I noticed the uh, rubbers on the wheels are still in really nice condition. I wouldn't be a bit surprised that I could probably find those on a website like Amazon or e-replacement parts or something like that. It would probably be a really good idea to get a few on backup. There's a fine line when you're adjusting a bandsaw blade between how tight and how loose it is. This should be okay guys. Hearing a little noise. I believe it's that bottom guide bearing. Take off our table. That's exactly what it We're going to put our cover back on the front. We're going to test her up. Notice, guys, that guide bearing is a little noisy, too. And that guide bearing isn't going to move until you put pressure on the blade. So,
So I'll let you guys know how this is working out for me. Let me know if you have one of these saws and your experience with it, any problems that you've noticed, and uh, I will throw some links in the description or in a pinned comment of the replacement parts that I end up finding for this, the belt wheels, bandsaw blades, the guide pins possibly, and s stuff like that. So if you're watching this video, make sure you check those links in the pinned comments. And as always, get out in your shop, make some sawdust.